For a few years now, we've been concentrated on developing a wheel cleaner for today's high-performance cars. The difference between high-performance cars and your more daily driver type cars is that you're going to have a higher metal content in your brake pads. It requires a different technology to really thoroughly and easily remove that metallic brake particle. Now, what we've just finally uh, developed is our new deep wheel cleaner. It is absolutely incredible at removing those high performance brake metallic particles from your wheels. How you use it is on a wheel before you rinse it, you'll take your deep wheel cleaner and I'm going to go ahead and spray down the entire face of the wheel dry. Now let's just watch as the wheel cleaner goes to work, it slowly actually changes color. Notice how it's turning red. It's going to go from light red to a darker and darker and darker red. Now that's actually how, so you can see the formula working, working really well at removing this brake dust and making these wheels extremely easy to clean. And you can see that I've let the deep wheel cleaner dwell for a little while and it has turned the entire wheel purple. That's how we know that the deep wheel cleaner has done its work. Now I'm going to introduce another brand new product, our new trim and lug brush. Before I go ahead and go after some of the real caked on brake dust, I'm going to spray just a little bit of our deep wheel cleaner directly into the bristles of our new trim brush. I'm going to start in the lug holes. And then I'm going to go into all the nooks and the crannies of the wheel to make sure that I've got them thoroughly agitated. When using a wheel cleaner, recognize that anything that you would just spray on and hose off is going to have a high acid content and that's not going to be safe for your wheels. So just like all safe wheel cleaners, you want to make sure and agitate this deep wheel cleaner to ensure that you're really getting all of the brake dust and the road grime out of all the surfaces. Now it's time to go ahead and clean the entire face of the wheel and I'm going to use our Boulder Blonde wheel brush. Once again, I'm going to spray a little bit of our deep wheel cleaner directly into the bristles and then I'm going to go ahead and dampen the brush as well. And I'm going to go ahead and attack the entire face of the wheel with this very safe, very soft, very thorough cleaning tool. As our new deep wheel cleaner starts to work and it's completely activated, you might notice a really minor odor. And as soon as you rinse it off, it's completely gone. So we did a good job on the face of this wheel and it looks fantastic. Now, Certainly, the barrel of the wheel, the back of the wheel, is still filthy. That's where the majority of the brake dust is going to accumulate. So now, I'm going to use a different tool to go ahead and clean it. And those are called wheel woolies. Now, we have three different sizes of our wheel woolies. They are jumbo, medium, and small. Looking at these wheels, I think that this medium brush is going to be just perfect. So I'm going to go ahead and spray a little bit more of our deep wheel cleaner directly onto the wheel woolly and then I'm going to blast the back of the wheel with a dampened wheel woolly with some of our deep wheel cleaner on it. I'm going to start exactly at the top of the wheel and I'm going to work my way all the way back up and around so, so I, I know where I stopped. I'm going to go both ways to make sure I get all of that brake dust that's really accumulated on the barrel of that wheel. I'm going to loosen all that up. I got all the way around the entire wheel except I had a really tough time getting in behind the caliper. That's where the mini wheel wool is going to come in. So I'm going to rinse it, take some deep wheel cleaner. Now this little guy gets into all these little nooks and crannies where I couldn't get 
the medium size one. If you've got a really wide spoke on your wheels and your brake calipers and your rotors aren't quite as close, you can also use the jumbo to get great results. No matter what, when you're done, you're probably going to want to do all four wheels and then drive the car forward or backward about a foot and a half so that you can get the rest of the wheel that's going to be really tough to access behind the calipers. Now before I go ahead and clean the tire and the wheel well, I want to go ahead and give this a thorough rinse to make sure I've really gotten all of the nastiness out of the barrel of the wheel. Now that I've got an incredibly clean wheel, it's time to clean the tire and the wheel well. And for that, we're going to use our all-purpose cleaner, tire brush, and our fender brush. So on the foam setting, I'm going to spray out the tire and the wheel well with a nice liberal amount of product. Yep, we'll let that just work for a few seconds and let it turn nice and brown. Bingo, you ready? Now you notice the all-purpose cleaner is turning the tire brown. That means it's working on removing all of the nasty grime on this tire and it's gonna pull it off. Now I'm gonna get the rest of it off with this very effective tool, our tire brush. I'm gonna rinse it, get it a little bit wet first. And then I'm gonna spray some all-purpose cleaner into it. And I'm gonna take and scrub it very well. On this tire, I have ridges that go round along with the tire. Some tires have ridges that go like this. Those ridges really hold a lot of grime and nastiness. If you've been using a really high gloss, heavy silicone tire dressing, that can really attract a lot of dirt and keep that whole. Go with the ridges to make sure that you get all the nastiness off your tires. Rinse that brush out. And now it's time to use the fender brush. Rinse, get it a little bit damp. Spray it with all-purpose cleaner as well. I'm gonna put it in beneath the tire and I'm gonna go ahead and scrub all the nastiness out of the wheel well. Every time I do a, a wheel, a tire, or a wheel well, I always want to rinse the brush. I want to keep my brushes nice and clean. Once all the dirt and nastiness dries on the brush, it gets harder to rinse out. While it's still wet, it'll rinse out real easy. Watch this. 